Next off, we have uh, Powerwall. Um, so, what Powerwall does is uh, when you would take battle damage from an opponent's attacking monster during damage calculation, send cards from the top of your deck to the grave. Until the number of sent cards is greater than or equal to the amount of, uh, the amount of battle damage you would take times 500, and if you do, make the, da the battle damage you would take from this battle zero. So, um, I don't know if you can mill as many cards as you want or does it or whether it has to be like the most like the least uh like the least amount that you have to do like if i hit you with 800 do you have the option to mill three cards or do you have to mill two because it's you you can't go past a thousand you know it's it's something that uh probably gonna have clarification later i, I don't think you you'll be able to mill all the cards you want that'll be a bit too broken um but um, it, it is nice uh, to have more milling power for certain decks like Light Swords and Infernoids. Uh, only two problems being A, it's a trap card, um, and meaning, you know, you can't just activate it off the bat, and B, it's a normal trap card, so, you know, it's only like a one time thing unless you play multiple copies. But even then, it only stops one attack, so, you know. But you know, in a deck like Infernoids, that, that might not matter because if you mill, um, you know, enough Infernoids, then you just special summon a monster right after that. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so uh, it's, uh, it's it's pretty nice, actually. Um, and uh, honestly, I, I don't think it's going to be used that much, but um, it's still a card. Just another mill card you can consider. Maybe a more budget option. Um, if you don't have like grass that's greener, you could probably play this um, and you'll just see how you do. Um, so, next we have White Veil. So, if the opponent, so if the equip monster battles, your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards until the end of damage step. So, that makes any monster an ancient gear monster practically. Uh, if this, and if the equipped monster declares an attack, negate the effects of all face up spell trap cards your opponent controls until the end of damage step. That's, that's cool. Uh, when this card, when the equip monster uh, destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. And when this face-up card leaves the spell and trap card zone, you take 3,000 damage. Alright, so, uh, I guess this is actually pretty nice. Um, there, although there is no attack boost, uh, <clears throat> the fact that um, your opponent can't activate any spell and trap cards when they attack and, and negates everything as well, um, does kind of make this card a lot more useful. Um, like this card could have just had the whole when this uh, monster show, when the equip monster shows the monster by battle, you can destroy all spawn trap cards your your opponent controls, and that could have just been it. But the fact that your opponent can't activate anything when you attack or can only activate monster effects practically when you attack is actually a pretty nice touch. Um, although the thing is that, um, I can't help but feel that this card was released, uh, a few years too late. I mean, if this card was released during, like, 5D's format, <laughs> like, this card would be, like, amazing. Because, you know, back then, like, more decks really relied on back row to really get done what they needed to get done. But, <clears throat> in a format like this, where everybody, like, no, not everybody, but, like, almost nobody relies on spawn trap cards anymore other than like strike and deep barrier unless you're playing something like uh paleozoics <clears throat> um this card isn't really all that relevant you know um especially since it's a equip spell card and equip spells have kind of lost um the light of uh the light of day <clears throat> ever uh for the past few years you know like the last uh, equip spell oriented deck that we had was noble knights and noble knights was nowhere near uh meta relevant and can really be considered a competitive deck, so it's uh, it's a bit sad to see a card like this just go under the radar, because uh, you know it does have a nice effect, you know it really does, but um, it's it's not really going to be used, and that's the sad reality of like having like s fast formats in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now um, I do feel like maybe in the future if we ever find a deck that is so focused on battle traps, um, 
or face up spell and trap cards, then um, maybe in the future this could be a real good card. Um, but you know, for right now, it's kind of something that you, you, nobody's going to use. But uh, it does have a nice effect. I don't think it's bad. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's not great either.